today. Today is Thursday, May the 21st. How have you been? It's, it's been a while since we've been together, since I stopped doing these daily devotions, but I hope you're well. Today is the day that the Lord has made, so rejoice, be glad in it, and find the blessings that God has in store for you. Well, people of God, I have some very bittersweet news to pass along. We've known that my time here at the Church of the Covenant in West Virginia, as well as my family, our time would be coming to an end sometime this summer. And the good news, the sweet news, is that a couple nights ago, I was offered the pastor's position at Redeemer Lutheran in Hupper, Nebraska, and I so very eagerly accepted it that I am head over our heels excited for the opportunities in the ministry and the people and in, in the community that lays ahead, that I'm a Nebraska boy, that that's my home, and getting to be closer back to, to my family and the farm and Husker football and everything else, that, that's, that's very exciting for me. And the anticipation for what God has in store for me is something that I'm very eager for. However, here's the, the bitter part and the sad part. It's saying goodbye because so many of you have meant so much to me and to my family these last three years. I can't thank you enough. The very first Sunday that I walked through the doors to, to be a supply pastor, if, if I only would have known what God had in store for me and what blessings I had coming my way, I've been blessed. You all have embraced me as your pastor. You've supported me, and my family has always been made to feel you know, a part of the, the family here at the Church of the Covenant it's going to be hard saying goodbye, and these next few weeks ahead, it's going to be hard. Um, and I know that we've got six more Sundays together, and I want to try and make these six Sundays ahead filled with joy because we're God's people and that won't ever change, but it's going to be emotional for me that you all have just been amazing people. And I cannot thank you enough that this church here in Grafton, West Virginia, that you know, I could have never possibly foreseen me ever becoming and being a pastor in, but it's been some of the, the very, very best years of my life. And I always look back to this time, and I'll never forget this church and what you've done for me and for my ministry and the people here. All of you will continue to be you know, part of my prayers and a part of my, my life and a foundation of who I am. It reminds me of the Apostle Paul, the greatest pastor ever, the pastor which pastors like me try to follow and try to better understand what he did. Well, Paul, like me and like so many other pastors, had to move from time to time. In fact, we believe that Paul started at least 14 different churches, probably more, but we know of at least 14 different churches. And the best estimates we have is that Paul would travel something like 10,000 miles in his ministry, starting these new churches, forming friendships, and, and beginning churches, and starting ministry. But then having to say goodbye, and I know how hard that must have been for Paul, starting these, these new churches and, and the life that he would share with these people and then having to leave. And there's this one part in, in one of his letters that comes to us in the book of Philippians, when Paul is writing to the, the people of this congregation and he lifts up this prayer for them. He lifts up this thankfulness for them. And his prayer is my prayer. His words, I, I can just say yes to and amen to because his prayer is, is exactly in so many ways how I feel about you all. So I'd like to read, if it's okay, from Philippians 1, 
beginning in verse 3, as Paul writes to his church, his people, Paul says, I thank my God every time I remember you. And I love that because the friendships that I've made, the connections I've made, they're not going to go away. And I'm going to remember you and I'm going to continue to thank God that you all have been a part of my life. In all of my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ. I'll stop right there. You see what Paul is saying? Paul is saying that the work, the ministry does not stop. Even though Paul was leaving, he knows that the people will continue to worship and follow God and that God was going to continue to guide them. And I know that's true for you as well, that God knows who the next pastor of the Church of the Covenant will be. And whoever he or she is, they are going to be so very blessed to be your pastor. But the ministry doesn't stop. Pastors come and go, and yet churches continue. They, they continue to walk in the faith. Continuing in verse 7, It is right for me to feel this way about all of you. Since I have, I have you in my heart, and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. My last Sunday here at the Church of the Covenant will be June the 28th. And I want these last few weeks to be to be filled with joy, um, to, to be filled with those memories, and it's going to be hard to say goodbye. But I want to say it to you once again. Thank you. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for, for walking in the footsteps of Jesus Christ. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for making me your pastor. I have been blessed by you. Amen.